Hey guys, today we're going to take a quick look at pinning or depinning and repinning uh, Continental fuel content sensor here. So what this does is measures the ethanol content in your fuel if you're running alcohol based fuel like E85. So what you can do is you can see this purple lock on the back side. The locking tabs are right on the side. So you kind of just work your way underneath them and push it back like that. You're going to do the same on the other side. It's going to come out just like that. And then the front, you'll see this other purple lock here. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove it. Just like this, you come in from the side, pry up on it, it'll come out. And then inside the connector itself, you can see these little tabs right there. And what you can do is, we're going to go for an outside one because it's easier. So just lift up on it a little bit and then you'll be able to slide the pin right out. And now when you repin this, what you want to do is make sure that this depression here, it's an opening in the pin, is going to the side where the lock is in the connector because that plastic lock is actually grabs onto this portion of the pin. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and slide that back in there. So you heard that little click. It's definitely clicked in. We're going to take the front lock here and if you look see the two tabs there they line up with those other tabs that hold the pins in just kind of snap it down into place like that and then you can do the same with the retainer at the rear so this is how a lot of the GM connectors are pinned so you know, other than the ethanol content sensor, this will help you with mass airflow connectors, throttle body connectors, pedal connectors, and uh, even some of the coil connectors that GM offers.